I won't go through it in detail here because in a following presentation, we'll take a look at it in the tax software and see a little bit more of the calculation then. Uh, three, any person you could have claimed as a dependent for the year the loan was taken out, except that A, the person filed a joint return, B, the person had gross income that was equal to or more than the exemption amount for that year or 4,700 for 2023, or C, you or your spouse of filing jointly could be claimed as a dependent on someone else's return. However, a loan isn't a qualified student loan if any of the proceeds uh, were used for other purposes. So clearly, if it's a student loan and you took out the loan and bought a $100,000 car with it, you would think, well, that shouldn't qualify. What are we trying to subsidize there? We're not trying to subsidize you buying a $100,000 car and whatnot, that kind of, you know. So <laughs> any case, the loan was, was from either a related person or a person who borrowed the proceeds under a qualified employer plan or a contract purchased under such a plan. For details there, you can see publication 970. Qualified uh, higher education expenses. So usually it's fairly straightforward, higher education typically being in college, but we have a bunch of other institutions that you know would be questionable as to what about a trade school or something like that. And we see that the higher education seems to be going to heck in a handbasket or something. So the, is there any other, could I, what if I have some other school that might not drive me insane that I can go into and could I get my loan and have it qualified there? Qualified higher education expenses generally include tuition, fees, room and board, and related expenses such as books and supplies. So these are the things that, of course, we spent the, the money on. The expenses must be for education in a degree, certificate, or similar program at an eligible educational institution. So this, so clearly an eligible educational institution, usually we're thinking basically a college uh, in that instance. And again, what are the types of things that you can spend it on? Qualified education expenses generally include tuition, obviously, fees, that makes sense. Room and board, that's more in inclusive than some other areas of uh, educational expenses and related expenses such as books and supplies. Okay, an eligible uh, educational institution includes most colleges, universities, and certain vocational schools. So certain vocational schools are added there, which so you can still keep your sanity and not let the, the major colleges drive you crazy or something and possibly still get some subsidization for that. So for details, you can see publication 970.